So we're gonna end this day out here at the shop. Ken's still working. So let's go check out what he's working on now. What's up, Ken? <laughs> How are we doing? So this is for the Kinlin desk, right? It is. So, heart pine, southern yellow pine, whatever anyone wants to call it. What are, what are you doing? I am leaving a miter fold. So rather than, because we were gonna, this is, this desk, the desk is specced as inch and a half top. Yeah. So we have what, inch and a half miter turned down and we're gonna use three quarter material? Yep. All right, walk us through what you're doing. I am saving up the mitered edge so that it gives us the appearance of an inch and a half piece of wood. And once we fold it over here. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll, let me be helpful here. We'll fold, and you'll have your inch and a half. That's sweet. Nice, clean, tight joint. So we get this question a lot as far as what tape. So. I know I've tried a few, you're, you're using the packing tape, and I can assume that it's probably because of the no stretch, right? Or the limited stretch? Limited stretch, and you can see. For glue squeeze. Using, using a, a clear tape, you can see your joint here if you're open anywhere. Okay. As opposed to a masking tape where you won't see if there's a gap somewhere. Very true. I never thought of that. So as far as the rest of the top, how are we joining everything else together? Dominoes. Dominoes, cool. And now this desk is supposed to be L-shaped, but we got one straight run here. Yep, once we get everything glued up and laid out, we'll cut a miter and fold this end in. Fold it. Cool. And domino that too. Nice, what else are we working on here? Uh, we have Vanity, a floating vanity. All right, let's pull this up and get the clamps off it because I want to see this thing. This started as, originally I ordered it from Y Living um, based on, it was Amy Anderson picked it out for our Rose Wharf project or Boston Harbor Hotel project and Boston Harbor project, I always say hotel. Um, it was supposed to be a three day turnaround for ship. They turned around and told me 12 days. So I sent Ken here, a, or I didn't even send you a drawing. I just said, hey, look at this really cool vanity. Yeah, let's build this in the shop uh, immediately. Uh, so what we have here is it's all maple, all edge banded, walnut top. Mm -hmm. So the intent here is that this walnut top will get finished. So it's a natural walnut to go with everything else. Um, we discussed using Rubio, but probably because of the vessel sink sitting on top of it, water splash and stuff like that, maybe something more durable. Uh, and the rest of it will be a white lacquer finish. So here's our door. And this is my favorite part of this entire vanity. What do you think? Like the design's cool, right? It's cool. Yeah. Um, what's, our, what's, what's your plan as far as latching? Self-close self hinges. Okay. We'll keep it closed. No, we probably not put it, probably don't need any magnet, right? Probably not. Okay. If we do, it's easy enough. Cool. Um, and especially with our nature and how we do a lot of our projects, we have not determined our vessel sink. So we have prepped for a center pipe for the drain. We're gonna wait until this thing's on site and figure out what vessel we, sink we may end is. up lowering this so there's room for the trap. Right, which we run into a lot is a lot of these floating vanities, the trap hangs out the bottom of them. So if we can eliminate that, of course it looks better. I agree. Cool. All right, so we get, this is Rose Wharf. Then we have, that's the Kinlin desk over there. Where's the rest of Kin Kinlin desk now? Kinlin desk is in finish. Okay. Uh, the, the panels and face frames, we have a couple of the cabinet doors cabinets. Here. Okay. And some back there. So we're using pre-finished maple on these. Yes. Uh, and everything is a domino connection for all the face frames. Yep. Um, I know we went back and forth. Where do we, how are we attaching these now? Are we gluing the face frames on to the dominoes? We are. We are, cool. But the boxes themselves, we're not gluing together, right? No. So everything gets screwed together. Screwed and more 
mortise and tenon. Awesome. So I don't think we can see it here. You can see the back is there's a full dado here so this back can slide in and out. So before we slide this together, this is all done on the CNC. So this gets drawn out through our shop drawing process and transferred over to uh, DBI Woodworks who is running all our CNC, CNC for all our cabinet boxes. And so what we have is basically a 3 8 um, mortise here. And these are, he calls them dog bones, but this is basically his overcut to allow that tenon to slip into it. Um, so if they are, So that tenon actually slips in. I, this, this one we got that box, yeah. yeah. So then it covers that overcut and it slips in, gives it that solid connection. We're not gluing it because of, in case, you know, for the box getting racked. Is that, that's our main concern. If we glue it and it's slightly racked and you go to put the face frame on, you're cracking face frames or it's not sitting against the wall tight. How's the system been working out? So far so good. We've, we've worked through plenty of issues, I know that. Yeah. So, um, I think my, from, from my perspective, I think my favorite thing about it is that you have that positive, positive placement, meaning that when this goes in, it's, it's, you're not messing with it back and forth, uh, and you're simply just adding the screws where, you know, where possible. Right. Cool. What else we got going on here? This is for a Pembroke Street project, prepped and ready for paint. This will be going out first thing in the morning tomorrow. So this is one of two. And, I, and we, we actually chatted about this earlier, is that this is the master bathroom cabinet. Yes. And we also have a round window bench that we're feverishly working on try, trying to figure out because it will be a first for us if we do undertake it um, or we subcontract it. So that's all, we, that's all we have for commenting on that one right now. It's, it's still in the it, works. Yes, it is still in the works. But the last thing I want to look at is we have, the, uh, we, ha we have the box, right? Here. Yeah. But the last thing would be Worcester Street. And this, this one I'm excited about because I like the, I like the two-tone you know, in Rose Wharf. Ken, Ken's going to be camera shy for the first time, a couple of times. I, don't know what you want. I will tell, I'll, I'll tell you this, you're doing a better job than I did the first time. Um, Rose Wharf, we did the walnut and the white. So Worcester Street, we switched up. Now we're doing white oak with white. Still Chantilly lace, but another wood tone. Um, I'm unfamiliar with this finish. So, and I know we're outsourcing the finishing, but walk, like, talk to me, because I know, I know you know more than I do. I don't know too much about this particular finish. Okay. Uh, most of my experience is with, you know, conversion varnishes and two-part polyurethanes. And this is a water-based finish? This is? This is. Oh, okay. Um, and I don't know too much about it. It does look really good. He did an excellent job. Uh, what I like about this, and especially the white oak, is I think it's called, is it called flecking? Yep. So, I mean, it's super cool. And these, these particular cabinets are going to be closed. But when you open them up, you have the white oak shelves, the white oak sides, the white back. But we also have this unit that's right behind Ken here that will house the television. Um, but also, he's got this awesome built up inch and a half white oak desk. I mean, I'm sorry, white oak top that's gonna sit above the TV. So it, it's encapsulated by a white cabinet, which is gonna look really cool. I'm sad Gino's not here, but I'm happy he's enjoying himself at the Red Sox. Likewise. Well, we'll have to. We'll get him. He'll be the new guy next time. Well, he's still the new guy. Only one new guy in a video a day. Yes. Awesome. Well, I know you guys, are, you guys are cranking out in the shop and we get a ton of work coming through here. So um, it's good to see progress and it's good to see this stuff. Um, I'm excited to see this in place because we are going to start installing Friday. Friday's the plan. Friday. And we're going to start with the lowers yep. uh, and wrap up with the uppers the following day, which will probably be Monday. We have a ton going on in the shop. Um, as you guys know, we recently moved into the shop and we're expanding rather quickly here. Uh, two guys, Gino and Ken, are working their butts off full time in the shop to produce the cabinetry, maintain the quality behind this part of the business and part of the brand. So, you know, I praise them for the hard work and dedication they have going on in here. Um, and I'm eager to get this place 100% set up. 
but with what we got going on, I'm super happy to see the progress and the, you know, the process and, you know, just the care that they're taking in, in all the product that we're building. So I'm happy to share this with you guys. Um, I'm super excited to see this stuff get installed this week. Um, you know, there's going to be photos on my, my feed and there'll definitely be a wrap up um, walkthrough on that project. Uh, coming in the beginning of October when we deliver it to the client. So again, thanks for tagging along and we'll see you on the next one.